You're watching Haaretz.com in cooperation with Channel 10 News. Susan Decker, the president of Yahoo Incorporated, visited Jerusalem last week to attend the presidential conference. Decker oversees one of the most popular websites in the world, with more than 400 million page views daily. She is the second highest paid female executive in the United States, with 14,000 people working under her. Decker suggests that Yahoo exemplifies the fact that the glass ceiling she was spared is a thing of the past. You know, I think that that's more, more based on history, that uh, there weren't as many women engaged in, in business, but uh, I think all the numbers are moving in the right direction. Certainly uh, at Yahoo, we have uh, a workforce that's about equally split. Yahoo's interest in Israel isn't new. A few months ago, Yahoo bought the Israeli company Foxy Tunes, and that may not be its last purchase. Uh, workforce here is so highly educated, uh, such a, such an amazing place for innovation and uh, technology and favorable regulatory climate. So we're very, very positive on Israel. By and large, Israeli surfers go elsewhere for their web needs, but Decker is confident in her market here. We have about 4 million users that come to Yahoo from Israel out of a uh, population of 7, 8 million. Uh, we've not developed site, but we're just getting started here. We have just uh, forged a partnership with Walla.com and we are fueling their search. Yahoo faces a string of challenges, including a recent breakdown in merger negotiations with Microsoft and keeping up with a competitor that is preferred by many, including Israeli users. Search is one of the critical components of our, our strategy for consumers. Our search uh, results on a global basis have a uh, reasonably strong market share. We're number two company to Google, and we continue to innovate there. Do you think that Google and Yahoo will join forces? We have done a test with Google. We uh, out took 3% of our search queries and ran through, through Google's monetization engine. We did that for two weeks to understand the value of Yahoo. And that uh, came out largely with what we expected and was a factor in their overall decision. But it's too early to speculate on whether we'll, we'll proceed with a, a deal with them. Thank you for watching Haaretz.com Daily Feature. Please join us again.